Interesting you're here to confirm the file you have on me. Anything else you need to check? Reports place you as someone loyal to your country. <laughs> and who believes in carrying their missions through. Is that so odd? In today's day and age, yes. But not to me. So you've done your homework. Congratulations. I know who you are, too. You're Leyland's right-hand man. Hello. His lackey, Toady. Henchman. Chief of security. As of a year ago. Those gloves keep the dirt off? Ah, uh, yes. And the blood. When need be. I like this guy. Considering how public your actions have been in Rome, and how many CIA <laughs> agents you killed, I think you're hardly in a place to lecture me. What happened to Albara? Dead, of course. Once you'd ID'd him, well, his use to me was at an end. In less That's than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience now. Reserved. Tell me what you're doing here. I was tracking down a lead. And it looks like I've found it. I see. So you That's thought all you had to do was wait and we would speak. Interesting. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. Negotiate. I have orders. Let's go with that. And I am a cautious person. So am I. Security. And I think we have room to negotiate. No. I am not authorized to make deals. Besides, I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. <laughs> a warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide. But stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. I really don't care about anybody. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist. Go ahead. I shall follow that. And then we will kill you. Those are your terms. Allow you to carry out the mission cold, and I, really I stay out of like the her. way. Yes. It's annoying. You realize I would be betraying my country. Yes. And that does not change my terms. She likes me more I now. understand your feelings. And I encourage you to set them aside. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Debate. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. We're gonna go with the stay. You don't seem like the corporate stooge type. In fact... You seem like someone who doesn't take orders at all, especially from someone like Leyland. Are you <laughs> questioning my loyalty? I am, but not in the way you think. Leyland doesn't have loyalty to anything except Halbeck. You seem like you have stronger convictions than that. Well, at least you are attempting to understand Trusted, who yes. you're dealing with. Commendable. Wars are often fought on psychological fronts. Cool. But not this one. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. Why, why did it switch to that? Uh, contact television information. Uh, connections between uh, whatever. Need? I'm gonna go shoot people. I wanna go shoot people. I haven't, I haven't shot that many right now. I've more or less just beat up some CIA agents and shot a couple. Probably shouldn't have killed them, to be honest. You weren't hard to find in Rome, you know. It's unfortunate. After that debacle at the CIA listening post. Professional. Finding you was easy. I could say the same. I didn't expect a face to face meeting. And that's when you and Mr. Marburg. I really regret killing those people. When we talked, he had a lot to say about Halbeck and some suggestions about my involvement with your corporation. Really? I can rarely get three words from the man. Feel free to have him threaten you whenever you get tired of listening to yourself. <laughs> I'd be curious to hear more. And your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? Business. We discussed business. Turns out both of us have experience with abuse of authority. He described you as a man of your word. Patriotic, I believe, also came into the conversation. 
But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Of it. Speaking of which, this woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. This person's a Halliburton person, person at least. Did you ever regret getting her into this? Not really. I know she is. It wasn't my choice. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. In the end, it was. I like that. It's reference how this game is built around dialogue and combat. I just, so far, this game, honestly, it, you know, the control, I really wish this was more of a first-person style shooter. It would have, uh, I think, would have flown a bit, flo uh, would have been, uh, flowed a bit better. Like jumping and so on would have been significantly more useful in this game. Because uh, we may have a cover control is the VCI bullshit. employee I mentioned before, Madison. I think she's going to act. What do you mean now? She's calling the operator and asking for you by name. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Curious. What? Why? I want to know why she's looking for me. Okay, let me patch her through. Let's see what she says. Operator? But you can see it. Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? No, Miss St. James, this is Michael Thornton. Oh, thank God. Mr. Thornton, please, you have to listen to me. Let's go. I don't believe we've met before. How do you know my name and why are you calling? I have reason to believe your life is in danger. That's always a danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. <laughs> I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She is a sharp one. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Is there some place we can meet? Radical. Of course. I like her I'll too. send you the address to the local restaurant. All right. I still have to hail a cab. I'll have one sent to your cross streets. Oh, okay. I'll Neutral. see you soon, Miss St. James. Neat, I got a level up. How many points do I have? 11? Awesome. Uh, this is delay before Mike starts to recover from, uh... Recover endurance. Awesome, that's good. Uh, with weapon balancing, Mike can, uh... meticulously adjust his firearms. So, yeah, let's do that. Medical ability increases the effect. I don't really like, uh, what's this one do? Uh, gadget here adds an additional inventory spot. Ooh, what's that do? Both armor suits and civilian clothing will. Uh, armor construction ability allows Mike to reconfigure his outfit, both armor suits and civilian ability, with uh, considerable lightweight and reinforcement that increases protection without uh, hampering mobility? Really? Awesome! Let's get to that. See how many points do I have? I got five. Ooh, I see. Let's go with Advanced Iron Will. And then we'll uh, put all the next points into that one. Alright. Uh, necessary Roughness? No, that's not what I wanted to get. I'm cute. Alright. Uh, endurance Rate Recharge? Plus 1% whatever that is. I don't really care. Assault Rifle is my most effective weapon. Good to know. It looks like the submachine guns are probably getting up there too. Alright, well let's go up top, check our emails, and move on. And I'll probably collect more things over time. Which should I have? I got a good another 30 minutes. Oh, actually, a little under that. I gotta leave before then. Fly. Honest. Send. Yes. Archive. 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 Awesome. I could probably go buy more stuff. Let's see if there's anything new here. Probably isn't. I don't even know what I'm checking. Let's not check. I don't feel like checking. Wait, I got a new slot? Wait, what was that? Did I see that properly? Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I had a fourth slot there. I was wrong. We. Shooting range plaque, neat. Mina wrote way to score. I think she custom framed it just for me. How nice. <laughs> Have any other ones like that anywhere? No? Okay, let's go. Maybe. Agent Darcy sent me this for Ace in the training course. He misspelled my name, Thornton. <laughs> yeah, I had that happen to me once. I took a, uh, 
I took a uh, computer design class, and they ended up uh, misspelling my name, uh, my last name, uh, to Cox instead of Dix, which, oh, by the way, for all you guys who are curious, my name is David, not going to tell my middle name, Mitchell Dix. Mitchell Dix is half an item. Well, I'm not going to tell my middle name is because you have to ask for that information. Whoa. I'm curious how many people are going to get that far, because I don't think most are going to watch this series. But everybody asks on this series, I will give my middle name. On this video directly. Hello, that's a nice suit. That orange is a cool color. Orange is awesome. Practical, suave, and patient. Thank you for meeting me, Mr. Thornton. Let's discuss what you told me over the phone. I know it sounds crazy. Where to begin? Nice. Just start at the beginning. Just, yeah, that sounds like Don't edit yourself. Just tell it. Okay. I work for the Veteran Combat Initiative, VCI. They're a global military contractor. My boss, Mr. Marburg, 